Afternoon, Pete Gaffney here, PGPT. Today I thought I'd talk about being in a fitness rut. It's something that I'm currently in at the moment and I feel that I need to break it. Um, been going through, going through the motions with my own workouts, intensity's been poor, um, haven't really been getting the gains that I've been hoping for, been inconsistent with training, and I've, ju I've just into a, I've just got myself into a rut where I really need to do something to break it. So I thought that I'd base the video blog today on my own experiences and and what I'm dealing with. And a rut can come from numerous things. It can come from external stress. It can come from not getting the results. You may have plateaued. Uh, that you were used to getting um, so there's a combination of things and for me whenever I do get into these sort of periods of training where I don't enjoy it I start going through the motions there's no intensity I need to pull everything back and and, and do three things so the three things to get out of a rut that I would advise is firstly the first would be what I call a brain dump so brain dump is writing everything down, everything that's going on in your mind, everything that's distracting you, whether it's the stresses, whether it's you know family or paying the bills or career or work, um, exercise, and just prioritizing everything. And the stuff that's the noise, the stuff that's distracting you, the stuff that you shouldn't let bother you because it's out of your control, really try and categorize. And you know this is quite a clinical exercise, but really you know evaluate what's important and what you do have control of and um, assess what you're good at and and play to those strengths and don't let the things that you know you may you might not be so efficient in take over uh, and really you know go back to basics and and dominate and, and go back to what works for you so a brain dump writing everything down and being crystal clear about what your goals are and why you want to exercise and how you can fit it into your into your life, into your routine, into your family. Um, understanding why it works, how it will work for you again. The second is my favorite thing, what I always talk about, understanding your why. So not being generic with your goal setting, but being laser focused and clear about why you want to achieve success, why you want to exercise, why you want to lose weight. Is it because of family? Is it because of your own fitness levels? Is it aesthetics and, and, and wanting to look a certain way? Um, so being very specific with your with your goal setting. So that, that's number two, understanding your why. And third thing is is not being so regimented and fixed on one way of exercise. Having the flexibility to to try new things, to try a class, to try a spin class, to try go down the park and do hill sprints, uh, interval work, to do more leg sessions, whatever the case may be. But if something's worked for you in the past and you've got yourself into this plateau, don't keep doing the same thing every day because really that's the definition of, of madness if you're doing the same thing every day and expecting a different outcome. So have that flexibility to be able to say, right, I'm gonna try something different with my exercise, I'm gonna try something different with my eating, and it may be just you know playing around with the macros, increasing your protein, decreasing carbs, maybe adding more fat into your diet, maybe trying something for two weeks which is more calorie controlled, um, and also taking you know rest days. So having a rest day is just as important as exercising so if you may be burnt out because of the pressures of work family life yet you're still kind of trying to go to the gym so also acknowledging that you know we need time out you need rest the body needs to recover and I think if you incorporate all three tools that I've just given you so the brain dump writing everything down writing down what's important to understanding your why so being very specific about your goal setting and three being flexible with your workouts and flexible with your eating and being happy to accept change and and take on guidance from others that I think that's what's going to take you know that's what it'll take to get you out of that uh, fitness slump that fitness rut so that's what I'm going to do for myself um, and I'm hoping that you know tomorrow's a new day get everything right and go back to for me some of the basics that are very important in my, in my life so having the routine and having the affirmations in the morning that I do um, the, the visualization the, the scribing the writing down meditation which for me is prayer 
and incorporating all of those, these things to get me back onto that path where I'm excited about exercise again. I've got in, the endorphins, you know, rushing through my body, um, and I and you know I want to get down instead of going through the motions and and just wasting an hour, which is quite frankly what I did today. But um, I wanted to try and keep that fairly real and, and fairly you know close to you know what I was experiencing today I hope that's been some help and I will speak to you tomorrow